Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to charge your off-grid solar power system. In this video, we will walk through the step-by-step -step process of determining the number of solar panels, batteries, controllers, and inverter required for your specific need. So let's dive in. Get started. Step one: load sizing. Step two: solar voltage sizing. Step three: controller sizing. Step four: battery sizing. And step five: inverter sizing. Step 1. Load Sizing The first step is sizing your off-grid solar power system is to determine the load of device you want to run. For example, let's consider three loads, a TV, a fridge, and a coffee maker. The TV consumes 125 watts and runs for 4 hours per day, resulting in 500 watt hours. The fridge consumes 700 watts and runs for 8 hours per day, totaling 5600 watt hours. Lastly, the coffee maker is consumed 1500 watt and runs for 30 minutes a day, giving us 750 watt hours. The total load consumption in this case 6850 watt hours. Step 2 Solar Voltage Sizing Next, you need to determine the voltage of solar panel required to meet your load consumption. The peak solar hour vary depending on your location. So, it is important to find out the peak hours for your state. In our example, let's assume we are located in Lahore, Pakistan, which has an average of 4 peak hours. Dividing the total load of 6850 watt hours by 4 peak hours give us 1700 and 12.5 wattage. However, it is essential to consider efficiency losses. If you are using PWM controller which is approximately 79% efficiency, divide the wattage by 0.8 to refine the wattage. For an MPPT controller with around 94% efficiency, divide the wattage by 0.94. If you plan use an inverter, repeat this process by dividing the value by 0.9. Considering an MPPT controller and inverter, the refined wattage for powering your appliances is 2023.82 Watt. Now that we know the required wattage, let's move on to size the controller. Step 3 Controller Sizing To ensure your controller can be handled the required wattage, refer to the controller specification sheet. It will be indicated the wattage capacity of the controller. For instance, if you have 30 ampere controller, it can be handled up 400 watt on 12 volt system. In our example, with a required wattage of 2023.82 watt, it may be controlling to find a controller that can be handled such a high wattage. However, you can explore solar kit that offering the high wattage and capabilities. Remember to consider the voltage of your system when selected a controller. Step 4 Battery Sizing Now let's determine the size of battery bank need to store the energy generated by your solar panels. It is ensures your battery bank has sufficient capacity to meet your energy requirement. To size your battery, double your initial watt or value to allow for a 50% discharge. In our example, the total load consumption was 6850 watt hours. Doubling this value gives us 13700 watt hours to find the ampere hours. Need divide the watt hours by the volt of your battery's bank. If you are using 12 volt system, divide by 12 volt. If you are using 24 volt system, divide it by 24 volt. If you are using 48 volt system, divide it by 48 volt. Assuming we are using 24 volt system, the battery capacity required is 13,700 watt hours divided by 24 volt multiplied by 2 hours, which is equal 517.83 ampere hours. This can be achieved by wiring 6 200 ampere battery in series and parallel. Step 5 Inverter Sizing The final step is to size your inverter which is convert the DC power stored in the battery bank into AC power for your appliances. To determine the size of inverter, add up the wattage of all items you want to run. It is recommended to choose an inverter with a high wattage capacity than the total load wattage. Additionally, ensure that the inverter match the volt of your battery bank. In our example, the total load wattage is 700 watt fridge plus 125 watt TV plus 1000 500 watt coffee maker the total is 2325 watt therefore a 2500 watt inverter or higher is required considering a 24 volt system
you know have a comprehensive understanding of how to size a off grid solar power system by the following these steps you can determine the number of solar panel batteries controllers and inverter need to meet your energy requirement remember to consider the efficiency losses and select the component that align with the voltage of your system